used to writing my emotions or anything that I do or just anything, period. Uh, this is the first for me, so. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I hope that if anybody watches this, they don't get offended. That's not why I wrote it. I titled it, I am, cause I am. Proudly born to a family of migrant, hardworking, humble people. No silver spoon, no wooden spoon. In my mouth, just a tortilla. I was suspended from school for defending a friend from a bad beatdown. Pop gave me a pick and a shovel and said, since you're not using your mind, put your body to work for free. I put my useless mind aside and thought about money. Money, money, money. How to make money? What pleasures and treats and things could money buy me? What status did it salute to my pride? With money, I never really had a shortness of friends. There was always more than enough. Now, women and money. Taught by signs and symbols, telling a vision, friends at the time who didn't know shit. Indoctrination and programming, can't forget this. The rap videos and the whack ass vatos that followed them, who at the time were my idols. Pillars that in my mind at that time were the standard for gangster. Clean cut, GQ, and what some asshole might call a pimp. Now, women. I thought come together. The indoctrination for young men in this nation, which is a poison creation to the relation of women and men's formulation. Making a gang. So this is a little bit of a story about my life, right? Called it K2N, compared to none. But I was looking like every other gangster running around with a gun. Superman personality with a death wish. Cause to me, if I did or I didn't exist, nobody would ever listen to this. My story. I had to struggle the streets, find my way out. Find my way out of defeat. I look around, most of what I see is death. Death of the mind, death of the soul, death of the spirit, death of the body. Minds trapped, souls crushed, spirit lights dimmed. Bodies poisoned, traps to my left, traps to my right. As I walk, a young student woman clutches herself. Painted as a criminal, looked at as a thief, a threat to her virtue. Looked down at for being from the hood. Labeled reckless, confused, unstable, cause I didn't share my plan. My roasted brown skin, my bald hair, my tattooed body, my dark hair. My train to be emotionless face as I look in the mirror and realize that there might be an outline, a sketch, a pattern, line or path before me to follow. I can fit the description, play into their fears, prove their prejudice right by exploding from the pressures of oppression, mass media turned into national rejection. Just look for acceptance. 
what is acceptable or the norm in America? Well, the norm would be Barbie and Ken. A couple of kids, all blonde, that's American. What is sub-American? In my eyes, it looks black. Same scene, just fairer skin. And at some point in history, the me, the none, the non-American. The label and face for SB 1070 that encompasses red and brown skin and stuns us into America's rejects. Yes, sir. Pushing us into a world of outlaws. I was born in America. Then why do not, then why do I feel jittery? And my hands start to sweat as soon as I see a cop. I don't feel protected. Why are Border Patrol and US Customs chasing people that look like me? Do they not realize they are foreign? Anyway. Should I find love? Should I share mine? Can I search myself for change? 